Wolves and their domestic descendants, the dog, are social animals that live in packs. Most packs are organized in a hierarchy of dominant and submissive animals. Wolves use many behaviors to communicate their social status in the pack. Position and movement of the tail is one of the most important behaviors used to identify a wolf's social standing. According to Goddard and Bielharts, wolf agonistic tail displays can be divided into four main categories, dominance, active submission and passive submission, and defensive aggression. Dominance. The easiest of the four categories to recognize, wolves with a raised tail are displaying more dominance than those with a lowered tail. Fatoya and colleagues found that when wolves interact, the wolf that holds its tail above the horizontal plane is the dominant animal 99.7% of the time. Active submission. During active submission, a wolf will keep its tail low but will continue to wag its tail with fast and short movements. The anal region remains covered by the upper part of the tail at all times as anal glands are used for territorial marking and are therefore part of dominant behavior. Tail wagging, however, is seen as a signal of little fear and friendliness or non-aggression. Passive Submission Wolves experiencing an increase in fearfulness will show passive submission. In this state, the tail is bent towards the underside of the wolf, covering the anus and passing between the thighs. A wolf showing passive submission may also roll onto its back but will maintain this tail position. Defensive aggression. This behavior is seen when submissive wolves are under a strong threat. Defensive aggression appears as a combination of active submission and dominance. The wolf may snap at other animals, but the tail will be lowered and curved downward. Young wolves also use their tail expressively, especially during play. McLeod and Fentress found that wolf pups raise their tails just before biting their playmate. It is thought that play in wolf pups helps the young animals to learn the association between tail movements and the social hierarchy. While we have presented tail posturing in distinct categories, these behaviors occur across a continuous range, where a tiny variation of behavior could alter the meaning entirely. The integration of multiple behavioral cues increases precision in identifying a wolf's intentions and social standing.